Hello everyone. Hope you are doing very well in your study. Today's chemistry lesson is about introductions to organic chemistry, chapter 15. And before I proceed further, please subscribe to, to Zoom Study Lab channel because in this channel we provide many free lectures. Without further ado, let's look into our study outline. Our study outline comprises of fuels, organic chemistry, different types of formula, homology series, naming simple organic compound, organic compounds with three or more carbon atoms in their change, structural isomer, chain isomerism, and structural isomers, position isomerism. Let's look into fuels. Common fossil fuels such as coal is formed by the decay of vegetation in the absence of oxygen millions of years ago. Natural gas, example given, is methane. And hydrocarbon is a compound containing only carbon and hydrogen atoms. Hydrocarbon such as methane, ethane, and propane obtained by fractional distillations of petroleum. Let's look into the definitions of organic chemistry and what is all about organic chemistry. Organic chemistry refers to chemistry of carbon compounds either burn or go back when heated in a flame. In organic compounds, generally just melt when heated. All organic compounds contain carbon and most of them contain hydrogen and also elements such as oxygen and halogen. Table below is actually indicate different type of structure. We have unbranched change, so where we have C in horizontal position and surrounded by H. Branch change in a form of vertical, where we can see C in a form of vertical and horizontal. And whereas a ring compound, we have carbon in the middle in a form of ring structure and surrounded by H. Different type of formula. Organic molecules using a variety of different formula. Example, butane. Butane, organic molecules, formulas is C4H10 and butane C4H8. And the molecular form formula shows the number of each type of atom present in one molecule of the compound. And the structural formula shows all atoms and all bonds present in the molecule. So in this chapter, is want to show about the different types of formula. It can be written in a form of structural or it can be written in a form of molecule of the compound. So the first diagram is about butane. So this is how the butane or butane atom or molecule of the compound look like. And also this is butane structure or formula where it shows the number of each type of atom present in one molecule of compound. Both is actually um, having uh, the formula structures as C4H10 and the other for butane is C4H8. So when it transform into the condensed structural formula, it will look like this. Okay. This is what uh, this slide is trying to explain about the different type of formula when we write it. Okay, let's look into homology series. Homology series is a family or group of similar compounds with similar chemical properties 
which is due to every members with the same functional group. The functional group is responsible for the characteristic chemical properties of a particular homologous series. For example, alkene. Functional group is alkene. Why is this alkene? Because hydrocarbon contains single bond. And in terms of the functional group, it looks like this characteristic. And the name ending for the alkene is ANE. In alkene. Kin, in. Okay. And example given is ethane. C2H6. Next, we look into alkene. What it causes is alkene. Alkene is actually, it consists of hydrocarbon where it contains one or more double bond. So, in terms of the functional group, it looks like this C equal to C and surrounded by H. And the name ending is E and E. Alkene, in. And the example given is ethane C2H4. And whereby alcohol, the compound contains OH for the functional group. So you can see functional group consists of OH. And the name ending is OL. And example given is ethanol. OL. And of the name. Name ending OL. Ethanol. So this is the formula C2H5OH. And finally, we have carboxylic acid, where compound contains COOH in a functional group. So you can see COOH. And the name of the, for the carboxylic acid, is will be ethanoid. OIC, acid, oil, OIC, CH3COOH, for the carboxylic acid. So those names ending with OIC oil, we have ethanol, right? So alcohol and with name endings and with OL, that's when we call ethanol OL. Right. Let's move on to the homology series having the same functional group, similar chemical properties, each member of the same homology series, where it can be presented. By general formula, example, each member of alkene homology series has general formula CnH2n plus 2, and each member of the alkene ENE alkene homology series has the general formula CN2H2n, where n is the number of carbon atom. And it actually is different from members immediately before or after by a CH2 group. And it shows a gradual change in terms of physical property as the number of carbon atom in the compound increases. Let's look into the naming simple organic compound. You have to remember, as I indicate, remember for this prefix and number of atom. For you, for easy remembrance, the names of the carbon or organic compound and also the structure in which category they are. Alright, so let's look into the naming simple organic compound, the suffix or end of the name. Okay, of the organic compound tell us the functional group which is belong. This is referring to the previous group where you have for the functional group alkane so what you have to look into it. So alkene means that the hydrocarbon contain single bond. The carbon only contain single bond. Okay, example given. But if carboxylic acid, um, the functional group must be COOH. So this are characteristic of carboxylic acid. So when the carboxylic acid, so you know that the name of the carbon must be OI. O I C. So, eta noi. Okay. And the prefix or term beginning of the, the name, the prefix is actually represent the number of atom. If one number of carbon atom start with meth and eth, you can see meth, methane, okay, 
methane, so meth in the front. Uh, if let's say it consists of one carbon, then remember the fun that we learned in the previous slide, alkane, A and E. So that's why A and E. Alright, where it contains only single bond. Same thing like ethane. Ethane, so when the number of carbon is two, is earth. Earth, ETH. Why ethane? Because it is under category of alkene. And let's, let's look into the uh, ethene. Ethene means that they have two carbon, which is double bond. So remember, when there is a double bond, it is under category of alkene, where hydrocarbon contain one or more double bond. Remember in the previous slide? And why it says ethene? Because it consists of two carbon, where in the position of number of carbon is two. That's why it's a thin, right? And the same thing goes to the next. And the ethanol acid, why is the name of ethanol acid? Name of the compound is ethanol acid because of in this formula, it consists of COOH. When COOH is represent carboxylic acid characteristic. Okay, when the carboxylic acid characteristic, the, the compound's ending name must be end with OIC. Alright, and the front name is referred to the number of carbon, which is 2. Eternoid. Eternoid acid. Right. It's very easy, but you have to remember. Next, there is sample more of a sample about unbranched organic compound which is containing three or more carbon atoms in their change so like you can see is propane they have three carbon pro pro e and e is actually under category alkene hydrocarbon contain one or more double bond okay and then this is but one E and E. And ethanol. Why is ethanol? So ethanol is, is under category of um, alcohol. Remember, they have consists of the functional group consists of OH. And remember, and the ending name must be OL. And why ether? Because consists of two carbon. Eta, non. And this is the structure for propane. And this is the structure for propanoid. Why propanoid? Because in this structure consists of the functional group, consists of COOH. So when COOH, this is under carboxylic acid. And when it's a carboxylic acid, the name of the compound must be end with OIC. And why is proper? Pro because it's conceived of three carbon. That's why propanoic acid. And similar, same as butanoic acid. Okay, let's look into the structural isomer. Some compounds have the same molecular formula, but the atoms are arranged differently in the molecule. This is called structural isomer. There are two types of structural isomerism. One is a change isomerism, whereby the structure of carbon skeleton differ. You can see from this diagram, where we have butane and methylpropane. It's actually both consists of C4H10. But the way the carbon, the skeleton, the structure of the carbon skeleton is different between these two. But you have to remember that when writing the formula of different structural isomer, make sure that you are not writing the same formula twice. For example, C3, CH3, CH2, CH2, and CH3 is actually the same as CH3, CH2, CH2, and CH3. It's just a structure, but it's actually represent the same thing. This is how to memorize. And 
let's look into the structural isomer based on position isomerism where the position of the functional group differs. Example given is butane-1-OL and but butan-2-OL. So the position of OH functional group in butan-1 is different from position in butan-2. This is can be seen from the two diagram given. And last but not least, let's look into the general view about the uh, why you study about the organic chemistry. So if organic chemistry is actually the study of the structure, properties, composition, reaction, and preparation of carbon containing compounds. Generally, most organic compounds contain carbon and hydrogen, but they may also include any number of other elements like nitrogen, oxygen, halogen, phosphorus, silicon, and sulfur. And where does this organic chemistry use? So organic chemistry is used in the field of biochemistry, biotechnology, consumer product, organic chemistry industry, petroleum, pharmaceutical, and medicine. You can find organic compounds include in agrochemical, Protein, cosmetic, detergent, dye stuff, food, fuel, petrochemicals, pharmaceutical, plastic, and rubber. With that being said, hope you all understand the topic that I already presented earlier. And wish you all the best in your study. And last but not least, please subscribe to John Stadilla YouTube channel and follow me at John Stadilla Instagram. You still can get the customized note by accessing the become page via Instagram link. Thank you very much.